there are so many reasons to do a makeup no buy. One of the best is the products that you rediscover because of it. Let's hop into this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara and on this channel I talk all things makeup, makeup no buy, decluttering, and project pan using your collection to the fullest. I've also talked extensively about why I did a makeup no buy in the first place. In 2019, I went on a one year no buy for makeup and this was actually a really positive thing in my life. I realized there were so many good reasons to do a makeup no buy. I actually did a video about that. And one of the best reasons is that you rediscover products that you used to love. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about all of the things that I've rediscovered in my makeup collection that I'd forgotten about because I just wasn't using them. Now, for anyone who loves makeup, this may sound super challenging, right? You can't buy any new products, but it was actually really important to me for my makeup creativity and it helped me to use more of my makeup collection. Now I only have a couple products today. I actually had more originally that I rediscovered and I absolutely loved, but because I did a no buy for a year, I finished a lot of products. I got through a lot of stuff. So a lot of products that I rediscovered I loved, I already got through. I did a whole video on all of the products that I finished throughout 2019. You can click here if you'd like to see that. But today I'm just gonna be talking about the products that I am still using that I rediscovered. The first product is this eyeshadow quad from Maybelline Eye Studio. I actually had this for a long time and for the first year that I had it, I was obsessed with it. This is like the perfect fall color palette for me at least. Unfortunately, the color that I used the most actually broke and so I just used up that color, but the other three are still perfectly intact. So we've got a beautiful coral color right here and then a gold and then sort of a purpley brown. I have to say I use this coral color the most because it suits my color palette so well. It looks really nice with my eyes, but I do get a lot of use out of the other two. I don't tend to wear gold on my eyes, but this gold actually works very well. You can sort of see there's a little bit of the cream color sort of in the other three colors. So this white cream was the one that was in there and it was so beautiful. It was such a nice color. So I stopped using this probably for a couple years after that first year of use that I had because I had other eyeshadow palettes and I just wasn't that excited about it. But I have come back to this and I absolutely love it. This, this cream eyeshadow, I think this is the only single eyeshadow that I've ever finished. So you can tell how much I loved it. In the fall, I came back to this and I used it pretty much every day. So the next is actually, I don't really know if it counts as makeup. This is a lash serum for your eyelashes. This is by L'Oreal. Disclaimer, I don't know if this works. I can't really tell a difference on me, but I bought this once, so I figure I might as well use it up. I use this only on days where I am not going to be wearing anything on my eyelashes, so no mascara. I've been really liking that look, actually. Right now, that is what I'm doing. So I have eyeshadow and eyebrows on, but I have no eyeliner or mascara. So even if this does absolutely nothing, it makes me feel like I'm doing something to make my eyelashes a bit healthier. And it is encouraging me to not use products as much on my eyelashes. I think that my eyelashes have a lot of wear and tear because I do curl them every single day and use a lot of mascara, sometimes two different kinds of mascara in one day. And because of this, I've been trying to take one day off per week with nothing on my eyelashes. So regardless of if this is a good product, it is encouraging healthy habits in me. The next product is this e.l.f. eyelid primer. I talked about this in my video on products that I am trying to finish this year. So I am doing a project pan again this year. I bought this probably for a dollar or something like that a long time ago. And I stopped using it really quickly because I discovered the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which quickly became my favorite eyelid primer. I bought multiple of those, but I found this when I was decluttering and I was like, oh, maybe I should see if that actually still works. And it does, it works beautifully. I am really happy with this product. I think I'm almost done, but it's super convenient because I like having a wand to put on my eyelid rather than something where you just use your finger and rub it all over. This works really well for me. Next, I have this NYX Wonder Pencil. When I initially purchased this, I bought it as a color to put in my waterline because that was kind of a thing a while ago. You would put a white or cream color in your waterline to make your eyes look bigger, but I did not like that look on me. I thought it was kind of creepy, so I stopped using it. 
I rediscovered this a couple months ago and thought, why don't I use it with a different purpose? So I use it just below my eyebrow, right underneath to sort of carve out my eyebrows and make them look more defined. And initially I was using this every day, like using as much product as possible to try to finish it off. And then I realized this is actually a really good product. I really like it and I shouldn't try to use it up as fast as possible because this is the only product I have like this and so now I'm trying to savor it. So I don't use it every day but I do use it a couple days a week and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really glad that I kept this. The next product is another e.l.f. one. I have sort of rubbed off the label on this a little bit. Another product that I got a long time ago and quickly forgot about because I had another product similar to this that I like better. <laughs> So this is a setting spray, the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. This is one I was using for a while. I bought a couple of these. And when I found this, I was like, why don't I try it out? I'll try to finish this first before I go back to the next one. Turns out I almost like this one better. The next one is really nice, but it is super light. So it doesn't feel like a lot of mist gets onto your face, you would have to spray it like five to 10 times in order to really feel like there is something on your face. Whereas this one, I spray it once or twice and my face feels sort of sticky and stiff as if I have a face mask on. Actually, I don't know if that's a good thing, but it feels like it's setting my makeup in place. So I feel like it's doing something. I'm almost done this, but I'm very happy that I purchased it originally and I'm really happy that I rediscovered it and decided to give it a go. The last product that I rediscovered is a little chubby stick. So I call it from Bonnie Bell. This is an eyeshadow. I don't love the formula and as you can see it's not the most attractive thing but this is super useful just because it is so multi-use. So I use this just under my eyebrows on the brow bone. I use this as a highlight on my cheeks, on my cupid's bow. I can really use this all over my face. I'm not sure what the purpose of it is. It says eyeshadow. I wouldn't personally use this all over my lids just because that's not a look for me, but this has been really practical and I use it every day in one way or another. <laughs> Actually, another product that I rediscovered is e.l.f. I did a huge e.l.f. haul a long time ago and I guess I never really used those products to their fullest. I got excited about them initially and because they were sort of on the cheaper, not as high-end side, I wasn't as interested in them for very long, so I quickly moved on to other products. But this next one is an e.l.f lip liner and this is actually the one that I'm wearing today. I don't wear lip liner too frequently just because I don't wear colorful lips all the time but this is a really nice color because it's not exactly neutral. This is not my lip shade but it, it's neutral enough. So this is just a light pink color and you can sort of build it up. So interestingly, I'm wearing every single one of these products on my face today. The only product that I didn't use was this eyeshadow palette and I should have used it, I should have planned this better, but I didn't intentionally plan to wear all of these things in this video, except for that lip liner, I wanted to wear that. It, it, just, it just so happened because these are products that I love and I am trying to use them up. But this eyeshadow palette, I did not use all of the rest of them, I did. So that was actually it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below. I hope you're enjoying this decluttering, makeup no buy, project pan sort of content because this is all that I've been watching on YouTube lately and it's actually because of other YouTubers that I started this myself. I was really inspired to do it and I'm so glad that I did. It's had such a positive impact on my life and I hope that I could encourage some of you to do the same. Let me know what you thought and if you like this kind of content, I have a ton more videos on it, so be sure to check those out. But that's gonna be it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.